Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Williams. No, 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 no. I haven't forgotten your order at all. No, 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 not at all. After all, you're a valued customer. And we're working on it right now. In no time. You'll have a freshly caught bobcat in your hands. It won't be much longer. No, I, I promise you, you'll have it in a few days. Uh, just a few days longer. That's all you'll have to wait. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Williams. I appreciate that. Oh, all your business um, seems to be booming. You bet your britches it is, and with all the orders I get from zoos and circuses around the world, well, among the rich, it's all a trend to keep wild animals as pets. But I'm having a little trouble keeping up with the orders. That's why I wanted you guys to be here. So, that's where we come in. <laughs> After all, we're the greatest hunters in the world. Well, yes, uh, it was most impressive the way your partner here caught that magnificent white lion. I was a thing of great beauty. Uh, I want him to do the job. Hey, I help too, you know. <laughs> So, what animals would you like? Dad, Oscar, Mary, I wonder how they're doing. Jonathan's feeling homesick. He's far away from home and all of his human friends. You can understand how lonely that must be. I wonder what we can do to cheer him up. I know. What about music? Music? Sounds good to me. We'll get the whole jungle to sing together. It'll be such a surprise for Jonathan. Let's get everyone. Let's go, let's go Bucky. Come on, everybody. Gather around. We're going to form a choir and sing. We're ah, forming a choir. Come, come and come on, gather around. Come on. What did they say? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go have a look and see what's going on over there. Okay. Uh, gather around, everyone. Come on. Hey. Uh, excuse me, uh, lovebirds. Uh, we're going to make we're a choir. Busy. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> Wow, everyone's here. I wonder what they're doing. Me too. Okay, everyone, let's start. When I raise my baton, we'll all sing together. Everybody ready? Sing. A one, two, three. It's probably just a camper playing his radio too loud. No, it sounds different. Let's have a look. It's animals. Am I dreaming? Oh, ow. <laughs> no, it's real, all right. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> I got a plan. Look over there. It's a human. We'll use him to get to the animals. Hide your rifle. Are you sure? Trust me. Huh? Bravo, bravo. That was just beautiful, everyone. Really, it was. Who are you? Let me introduce myself. I'm a professor from Oxbridge University in London. I'm researching the lives of animals. I'm Professor Hucklebox. That's not true. You're... you're... Yeah. And this is my assistant, Mr. Biggs. My name's Jonathan. I'm here because I have a great interest in animals. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. It sure is great to meet some humans. I haven't met any in quite a while now. As someone who loves animals, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to meet someone who has such an understanding of animals. Uh, you're all friends, I take it? That's right. Oh, you're very, very, very lucky. I envy you so much. Could I meet some of your friends, please? Oh, pretty please, oh, please? Of course you can. This is Kimba. Welcome to our jungle, Professor Hucklebuck and Mr. Biggs. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was a very good trick. How did you do it? That wasn't a trick. They can speak. I'll show you. 
Come on, everybody, show them. Welcome, Welcome to, to the jungle! jungle. Ooh, that's remarkable. How did you do that? It's amazing. Could you tell me, huh? Well, they've been practicing really, really hard, and they've been studying human cultures so that humans and animals can become very good friends. How fascinating. I'd like to get to know all of you a little more. Uh, how would you like to come to our camp? We'll have a party. We have TVs and radios and books and lots of other things from the human world that all of you can look at. What do you think, huh? That's very kind of you to invite us. What do you think about this idea, Kimba? We'd all just love to go. Thank you for inviting us to the tea. Kimba, it's not tea, it's a party. <laughs> oh, what an adorable little lion, really. Oh, isn't he Mr. Biggs? Sure is, Professor Hucklebuck. <laughs> Today, a good thing happened, Papa. All the animals were invited to a party by the humans. Everybody seems so happy. <gasps> what is it, Mama? Those are the men who killed your father. <laughs> <laughs> Panja, run! <laughs> no! Don't come! They'll kill you! Run away, Panja, run! No! <laughs> Kimba! Kimba, these nice people invited us to their party, and this is the thanks you give them? Have you gone mad? Kimba, I just remembered. They're the ones who killed your father, the great Panja. I know. You know? Well, then why are you just sitting there, Kimba? Kimba, you have to go after them for what they did to your father, the great, the mighty Panja. Kimba, don't you understand what they've done? Tear them to shreds to beat them up, pulverize them. You gotta get them. You gotta let me go. Oh, let me go. Oh, let me go. Oh. Polly, stop hitting me. You know he's right. You've got to do it for your father's honor, Kimba. We'll all help you. You know that, Kimba. You have to go. Kimba, what are you waiting for? Bucky, Polly, Daniel, my father gave up his life so that all the animals would have peace and happiness. Yes. Those men have invited all the animals to a party. They're bringing happiness and making peace. Hmm. I can't go out and ruin the peace and happiness when that's what my father gave up his life for. But Kimba! You don't know how much I want to get revenge. I want to get them. But you can see how happy the others are. If I let things be, then we can all get along with the humans. And Jonathan's so happy that they've come. <laughs> you must be thirsty after all that dancing. How about some refreshments? Everyone take a glass. To the friendship of humans and of animals. Ah. <laughs> Professor Hucklebuck, Mr. Biggs, I'd like to thank you very much for inviting us to your party. <laughs> <laughs> We all had a really terrific time. I'm very pleased you enjoyed yourselves. <laughs> Thanks, but I've, I've had enough, really. Uh, I've, it was very good. Uh, thanks again. Uh, this should wake you up. <laughs> now stop lying around and go get the others.
What's keeping those trailers? Hurry it up! They're awfully late, Kimba. Something must be wrong. Jonathan's with them, so they should be okay. But with those humans, I'm not so sure. Kimba! Huh? Look! We found these where the humans came out of the bushes last night. That's what they used to shoot Panja with. They used those to kill him. So they're here to hunt after all, huh? Kimba! Kimba! They're gone. Look over here. They left tire tracks, Kimba. How could you trick us like that? A professor from Oxbridge University. My foot. You lied about wanting friendship between humans and animals. You lied. <laughs> Sorry, kid, but capturing animals is our business, and we're pretty good at it, don't you think? <laughs> you guys are a bunch of suckers. You're not gonna get away with this, I'll see to that. Watch what you say, kid. <laughs> run any further. I'm really sorry, but I can't either. Rest here. I'll keep going myself. Kimba, hold on! I'm coming too! Uh, no! <laughs> oh no! What's wrong? I forgot the line in the jungle. You know, the little one, the white one. I did. We got so many animals I didn't notice. That white lion is worth a lot of money, and I'm going back for it. Yes, I am. I'll be back as soon as I can. Take care of things. I must have fainted. My father, I'll get you! <laughs> so you're the son of the white lion I killed, huh? I got your father, and now I'm gonna get you! <laughs> like father, like son, make one move and all of your friends will die! You make one move towards me, I'll sound this gun. Then they'll know there's something wrong and they'll destroy your friends. Where's Jonathan? We have him as well. Release them! Wishful thinking, little guy. <laughs> Can't take it any longer! <sighs> now all your friends will die, all because of you, you fool! Finally caught up with you. Let's go save the others. It's no use. They're all dead. What do you mean? It's all my fault because I didn't use my head. Holly, Bucky, Daniel, I don't deserve to live. Huh? What happened, Kimba? I I killed everyone. <laughs> I killed everyone. Kimba, get a hold of yourself. You're not making any sense. Talk to me, boy. <sighs>
They tricked us again. Let's go and help them, Kimba. Come on, it's our turn to help. Here I come. Jonathan. Kimba. This ought to teach you all a good lesson. Now, there's one car that works. Take it out of here and never come back to this jungle again. We never want to see you here again. Nah, you can't talk to me like that. I'm the greatest hunter in the world. Someday I'll come back and destroy each and every one of you. Like you did my father? <gasps> Hold on. He didn't mean a word of what he just said. Uh, deep down, he feels really bad. <sighs> Uh, speak for yourself. I don't feel bad. Stop groveling. I don't want to die. We're sorry we killed your father. Please forgive us. Please spare our lives. I beg you. I beg you. Please, we really didn't mean it. I'm not going to hurt you. I've gotten rid of my feelings of revenge. I don't want to make your family suffer pain like I did. If you want to play with guns, that's your business. We want no part of it. We want to get along with humans and live with them in peace. Feel free to use me as your slave. What? I've never met such a pure soul. I don't want to return to the dirty world of humans. Keep me here, I'll do anything you say. Please let me stay here with you. I don't know. Please, deep down, I'm a good person. If you give me a chance, you'll see. Listen, Biggs, if you really, really want to help Kimba, you'll drive the truck out of here and go and talk to other people about becoming friends with animals, not their enemies. Okay, everyone, let's sing all the way home. Several months later, there was a strange postcard at the city post office. <laughs> Take a look at this. It's being sent to Africa to the White Lion from Professor Biggs. There are a lot of weirdos out there, all right, but to send a postcard to a lion? <laughs> it's probably just a prank. But wouldn't it be just wonderful if humans could really communicate with animals? Big's postcard will eventually make its way to Kimba, just as Kimba and his friends' dreams of peace and happiness will eventually come true.